Hey guys, here's a set of snake scale brushes. You can find the download link below in the video description. But uh, you might want to stick around for this uh, brush demonstration because I'm going to do something different this time. So, these are texture brushes. And uh, usually the brushes are pretty straightforward to use. Uh, these are pretty straightforward too, but I want to show you a method that I think works the best for for these kind of texture brushes. So, yeah. First I'm going to make like a sphere. And let's copy this. I have three brushes in the brush set. What I usually do is I work in grayscale and that color afterwards because um, the effect is, is better that way. Let's see the first sphere and uh, you choose the brush. Let's choose the first brush and uh, let's start applying some, some texture here. So this is how, how it, it looks. I'll show you just on white background. This is the texture basically. But you have you want to have your object shaded and start applying the texture afterward. This is a key to achieving a, a nice looking texture. So right now that I applied this, I choose the the dodge tool. I'll show you with. Uh, where's that window? Just a second. Tools. Okay, this is the one. So here you can find the dodge and the burn tool. This is the dodge tool and this is the burn tool. I'm going to close this window because I'm not working from this window. But uh, I'm just showing you this is where you fi find them. And I'm going to tell you when I work with the burn and with the dodge. So. Uh, right now I'm working with the dodge tool. I want to select highlights and uh, let's start adding some, some highlights here. Let's select midtones. What it does, it changes the value, but it keeps the texture intact. And, and this is what you want, basically, to have a nice texture. Let's select highlights again. Of course, the more time you spend on your texture, the nicer it's going to look. But for now, I'm just going to do it like this. Let's select the burn tool. You can press Ctrl, I mean Shift O to toggle between the Burn tool and the Dodge tool. Let's select Shadows and add some contrast here. Like this. Maybe this part needs some more texture. Okay. Select the burn, the dodge tool again. Get all the shadow from here. And work on the highlights a little bit. Okay, something like this. I'm not going to get uh, too deep into this. 
Okay, now that uh, it is textured, you can uh, do two, one of two things. One is, I make a copy of this one. One is you press Ctrl U and you colorize it. You press colorize and you can adjust the saturation here. and the lightness too like this okay the other version would be to make a color layer above this layer you set it on color and you just pick a color whatever you like and you paint oh, wait something is not right i have to select the brush and you paint over it like this you can adjust the opacity of it and uh, of course you can also adjust the hue with the hue saturation but I'm just going to take the shortcut here and go directly to hue saturation so once you have this let's take out the the texture from the shadows a bit again I'm selecting the dodge the burn tool sorry this is the burn tool and uh, I'm selecting the brush tool afterwards I'm color picking this and I'm taking out the uh, the texture from the shadows basically shadows shouldn't really have textures No, I messed up something here, sorry. Okay, like this. So, what you want to do, again, for just for a nicer effect, you can do a clip layer like this, and you set it on color dodge. You take out these, uh, the blend clipped layers and the transparency. You just want these blank. And you select your texture again. You lower its opacity to let's say 30% or something. And you add a little bit of color dodge here in the half, half tone. So this will, will make it a little bit more interesting. Let's put a little bit of... of red to like here in the shadows okay like this is before this is after it's a little bit more interesting for scales and stuff like that let's put a little bit of yellow to here yeah. you see okay so this is basically it once you've done this if you want to take it even further then you can set an overlay layer um, and you can apply some color variation here let's say let's just make this darker first and you can apply some color variation like this oops Let's just make this softer, like so. Maybe desaturated because it's too saturated right now. Uh, control U. Let's set this on on darken. Let's set this on multiply. Let's lower the opacity. Yeah something like this so you can add some some shapes or or something to make it more interesting some snakes have have different patterns on on them let's say something like this 
but you can experiment with the blending modes and uh, maybe you find something that stands out to you okay so this is before this is after maybe before it looked a bit better but yeah anyway Uh, let's go ahead and do the second one so this this is the second one I'm taking the texture brush again I just noticed that I have to speed up a little bit because we are 10 minutes in it so this is the second uh, texture like this okay uh, I'm showing you how it looks. This is how it looks. It's a pretty nice texture. I like this one the most. So... I went a bit too dark here. Okay, let's say something like this. Choose the color dodge again. It's the best to, to first add the textures and then later on to work with the dodge and burn tool to make them look nicer. Here are the highlights. Okay. Choose the burn tool. Like this. <clears throat> Let's add some some color to it. Let's go with some red. Like this. No deeper red hmm let's add some yellows in the highlights you can choose color balance and then you can add some yellows in the highlights and maybe adjust the levels a bit it's more like a trial and error process This is why I like to work in grayscale because you can edit it a, a bit further. So let's add some saturation. Okay, and again, let's clear this out and set the color dodge layer and let's add a bit of orange lower the opacity don't forget to lower it and add some color dodge like this So it makes an interesting texture. I see that those darks are a bit too dark. So I want to get rid of those deep darks there. Okay. I'm setting it on a multiply layer. Going over that core shadow again. 
and taking out the texture from it. Not sure if I like the color of this one. Maybe this one looks a bit better for for scales. And let's see a screen layer and use the texture again. Let's see if that works. Yeah, well, it's not much better. So let's just leave it this way. Uh, basically, the more time you spend on it, the better it's going to look. So yeah, keep that in mind. This is the uh, third one. And let's texture this one too. choose that dodge brush and get rid of these shadows here because they are too deep. Let's add some highlights like this and I'll show you how the brush works on separate layer. This is the texture of it. Okay, so we are 17 minutes into this video. Midtones. That's a bit too much. Okay, let's colorize it. So I'm just going to go with green here, like this, and add some color dodge. Color dodge, just a little bit of color dodge doesn't hurt anywhere, especially on these kind of shiny things. Um, let's add some yellowish color dodge. What is happening here? Yeah, you see, you have to clear these out too, for it to work properly. Okay, here is some, some color dodge. And also what you can do is, I'm just going to show it on this one. You can add some hue variation by setting this to hue or even setting it to color that works too and choosing the soft brush and maybe adding some reds here you see a little bit of hue variation uh, just makes it look more organic and uh, and better overall okay let's add some red here too you set it on color like this you add some green maybe a 
Yeah, this just looks weird with green, but uh, but with yellow it looks a bit better. Just experiment with adding some few variations here and there. And what you can do if you are using green, you can add some few variations of, of red, because red is uh, complementary to green. Uh, and it just makes it pop and it makes it more vibrant. So you can add some, some red in the shadows here and there. Okay, so these are the brushes. Let's group these. Like this. This is the first brush. Here. First brush. Second brush. And third brush. Yeah, so the download link is below in the description. Uh, if you have trouble installing them, there is a, a text file which will walk you through the process. And if you have requests for custom brushes or brush tips, you can email me at brushtip at pixelstains.net. So I hope they are useful and I hope you like them. If you do, stay tuned for more. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.